Hello everyone, Ben here, and today we're going to take a look at the Material Browser in V-Ray for Revit. As mentioned in the previous video, V-Ray for Revit automatically converts all your Revit materials into V-Ray materials when you hit Render. But you do have some more advanced control using the V-Ray Material Browser. These settings live outside of Revit. This was done to preserve the Revit materials and all of their associated parameters. Let's start with the Material Map tab. This is where you can assign V-Ray materials to specific Revit materials. Here you'll find a list of all the materials in your scene, as well as filters at the top to help you quickly find that material you're looking for. There's four options for each material. There's Autogen, V-Ray Material, Diffuse Texture, and Color. Now let's go through each of these one by one. Let's start with Autogen. Autogen is the default setting that automatically converts your Revit material into a V-Ray material when you hit Render. With the next option, you can select the V-Ray material to replace your Revit material. Let's first find a material that we want to replace in the scene. Let's replace the grass. In order to do this, we first need to find a material in the list. So go ahead and type out grass in the filter, and it should filter down to just the grass. Next, let's change this to V-Ray material, and let's browse for a grass material. And the only thing left is to set the sample width and height and rotation. This is a pretty big texture, so let's go with 40 feet by 40 feet and just a random rotation. Now let's render this out and see what we get. Much better. Now for this next option, let's change the texture of this roof. Now we're going to try the diffuse texture option. This is similar to the V-Ray material, although it just uses a simple texture with no reflection, refraction, etc. I'm going to browse to the Autodesk texture library and let's find a roof texture. This one will work. And just like the V-Ray material, you set a sample width and height and rotation. Let's just go with four foot by four foot, and I think the rotation should be fine. All right, let's hit render and see what we get. Now, as you can see, the material is very basic, but it's a good way to switch out appearances without having to touch the Revit material. And the final option is color. Color is a great way to diagrammatically highlight certain elements, or if you have an RT rendering running, you can quickly switch out between color schemes and have it dynamically update in the frame buffer. The second half of the Material Browser is the Override Materials tab. Here you can override all of your opaque and transparent materials in the scene. Let's start out by setting a couple of quick, simple materials. Let's go with a simple gray material with no glossiness or reflectivity for the opaque materials. Let's go with a blue material that's mostly transparent, full glossiness, and mostly reflective. Now when we render this out, we have a nice simple image highlighting the lighting quality of the scene without any distraction from materiality. Now let's try it with V-Ray materials. V-Ray for Revit comes with a selection of diagrammatic materials to quickly produce a conceptual rendering. Go ahead and browse to Program Files, Chaos Group, V-Ray, V-Ray for Revit, Content, Materials, Diagrammatic. Let's go with chipboard for the opaque material, and for the transparent material, transparent plastic. 
Let's also shift the view a little bit and change the quality to something a little nicer. Go ahead and hit render and in a few moments you'll have a nice conceptual rendering. And with that, this concludes this tutorial of V-Ray for Revit.